Ready to go back to Derry? The first trailer for IT Chapter 2 has arrived, and it looks like writer-director Andy Muschietti might just pull it off again. Hello. Though most of the clip is dedicated to one scene, there are a few small but telling details that you might have missed. Spoilers ahead. Meet Mrs. Kirsch. Most of the trailer finds Beverly Marsh returning to her father's old home. The new resident seems like a nice enough old lady, doesn't she? Meanwhile, Bev is heartened to discover the old January Embers poem that Ben wrote for her so many decades before. But the atmosphere in the apartment grows eerier by the second, especially when Mrs. Kirsch starts verbally tormenting Beverly. I was always Daddy's little girl. What about you? If you read Stephen King's massive novel It, you'll remember this moment as one of the creepiest scenes in the book. In the novel, Mrs. Kirsch transforms into a yellow-toothed witch. The trailer doesn't quite show us what she'll become in the movie, but we're already covering our eyes. Here's another detail from the trailer that really stands out. The Losers Club appears to have thinned out. Although the group still sees young Stanley Uris and Eddie Kazbrack in a window reflection, there are now only five of them standing as adults. Isaiah Mustafa's Mike Hanlon, Bill Hader's Richie Tozer, James McAvoy's Bill Denbro. Jessica Chastain's Beverly, and Jay Ryan's Ben Hanscom. If you read King's novel, you know that Stanley Uris never makes it back to Derry. Eddie does join the group for a second battle against Pennywise, but his fate isn't as fortunate as the rest. However, in the book, Eddie's death takes place late in the action. Perhaps the glimpse we see in the trailer is from the tail end of the film after the Losers Club's last stand with Pennywise. Or maybe Eddie just dashed off to the pharmacy to pick up a new inhaler? Time will tell. The settings in the trailer for IT Chapter 2 are entirely familiar. Evidently, Derry hasn't put much money for renovations over the last 27 years. One location seems to carry some major significance, though. And we're not talking about the sewer, although there's bound to be plenty of action down there, too. No, we're talking about this grassy hill. As you may recall, it looks like the exact same spot the kids visited to make their blood oath in the first film. I swear, if it isn't dead, if it ever comes back, we'll come back too. It's also the same spot that both Stan and Eddie seem to confirm their fates by leaving the group first, in the same order they die in. Surprisingly, the exit order doesn't seem to be repeated in this trailer. If you look closely, it's Richie Tozer who trails the group instead of Eddie. You may want to avoid Chinese food for a while. As we see in the trailer, the Losers Club heads over to the Jade of the Orient restaurant for a reunion meal, just like in the book. It's me and the Losers Club has officially begun. The trailer only shows their arrival, but King fans and anyone who saw the 1990 TV miniseries will remember just how unappetizing things get. So many unspeakable horrors can fit into those teeny tiny fortune cookies. Guess we'll have to wait and see what ghastly surprises IT has in store. The trailer also calls back to a fixture of King's book and the 2017 adaptation, the giant statue of Paul Bunyan in the town park. It's there in the first film when the losers gather together to discuss Pennywise. In the book, it becomes animated and taunts Richie. It Chapter 2 brings the statue back into Richie's life, but we don't see it in motion just yet. Instead, Pennywise is seen floating above it, suspended by an inverted pyramid of balloons. Even so, the Paul Bunyan statue's importance clearly hasn't been overlooked by the director. King fans also know that the statue really exists in Bangor, Maine, and freaks out the locals on a regular basis. The first chapter of IT thankfully didn't deal with the ritual of Chud or Matarine, the celestial turtle, but fans know that these otherworldly concepts will make it into Chapter 2. The trailer appears to confirm it. The losers hit the sewers to track down Pennywise and come upon a giant spiky object. We see the gang holding hands and looking up the ceiling, or more likely, something beyond the ceiling. We never get a glimpse of the creature in the trailer, but we imagine, we hope, it'll be more frightening than that thing we saw in the miniseries. We know Muschietti plans to bring the interdimensional element of IT to the big screen in Chapter 2, and this is our first look at how that might happen. Scared? <laughs> Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite films are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.